Hey guys, this is my PC. You probably see it in the background of a couple of my videos and people have been asking me uh, what type of PC is it, where can I buy it, what are the specs and stuff like that. So in this video, I'm just gonna break that all down. So this took about two years to fully build and that's because I did it by a part by part basis where I buy one part at a time. And that's just because I dog walk and that's how I get my money. So I wouldn't just get like 2K at one time. I'd like build it up slowly. So I started on a MacBook and that's all I had and then eventually I bought my own desktop for around $600 and just eventually built up all the parts into what this is now. I'm still building it up, I want to switch to an AMD system with a better cooler and a better graphics card but there's so much more I could do but also that comes with money so it's going to take a long process in the future but in this video we're just going to break down what it's made out of. I will have all these parts in the description in case you want to check them out. So yeah, let's get into this video. So my CPU is the Intel i5-9600K 9th generation Intel CPU. So it's pretty um, mid-range for gaming and uh, it, it's done the job. It has 6 cores, 6 threads, it does everything I want it to. I don't do super heavy gaming and I don't do super heavy um, multitasking, so it does the job right in the middle. Um, this was, at the time, a really good budget option. Um, it was kind of the mid, mid of, middle of the road option. And I'm cooling it with a Cryolig M9i, which was about a $30 CPU cooler, which I eventually want to get an AIO, but it's a very good air cooler for the price. Moving on, I have a 2060 Super, which is a WinForce edition from Gigabyte. I really like the look of it. It just, overall, um, it's very sleek, and adding on to that, I have these, um, Asia Horse GPU, what are they called? So they're like power supply extensions, I forget what they're called, I'm gonna put it up on screen because I'm being stupid, but yeah, they pull it all together, they get those look like stock cables out, they look a lot better for like 30 bucks or 20 bucks, I forget how much they were, but I would definitely recommend getting extensions if you don't have them already. It definitely is a small thing you can do that makes a big difference. Um, with the motherboard, it's a ASUS Maximus 11, I think, but it's XI Wi-Fi. So I got this on eBay for $180 and it's still going for around $400 new. So I think I got a pretty good deal on it. Um, yeah, I just got it auctioned and I got really lucky on it. So. It does everything I could want it to. Um, it's a little old, but it's way over the top for what I'm doing. My RAM is the Corsair Vengeance Pro. It's a 16 gigabyte kit with two eight gigabyte RAM sticks. For my storage, I'm running a Samsung Evo, uh, is it? Yeah, a Samsung Evo Plus 256 gigabytes, I think. Yeah, and that's just my boot drive and it still takes around 30 seconds to boot, even though I have a M.2. And then for my main drive, I have a two terabyte Se Seagate Barracuda, which just does the job. I will say it did fail on me once, and I had to get a replacement for it, but they sent it out to me. But just if it starts clicking, replace it. <laughs> and then finally, I have the, what's this called? Okay, it is the Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX in white. Um, funny story, I was actually just gonna get the simpler model, which is like the um, Pure Base 500, and that's it. And it basically has no intake on the front panel. But um, my mom, when she got it for a Christmas present, she, she accidentally bought the wrong one, which I'm very glad because it's actually way better for your airflow. And I still think it looks really good with these two stripes in the middle. It kind of looks like the Lee and Lee one. Uh, I actually did a video on this, but my Wi-Fi card is a TP-Link AX1300, I think. But uh, I got that because my onboard Wi-Fi sucked, so, and I don't have Ethernet in my room, so I got a Wi-Fi card. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to leave a comment on what you want to see next, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy.